Hello everyone, this is Grant. In this video I'm going to show you how to use our new Postgres cartridge that you can embed inside of your OpenShift Express applications in order to use the PostgreSQL database. First thing we'll want to do is create an application. So I'll use the RHC create app command. We'll pass in an app name. We'll just call it post and we'll pass in our language type. Let's do a PHP 5.3 application. We'll authenticate to the services and at this point OpenShift Express will create our application as well as set up our Git repository in order to interact with the application. Now that our application has been created, let's do a RHC domain info authenticate and we can see that sure enough post has been created. So let's go ahead and embed Postgres support inside of our application with the RHC CTL app command pass in our app name post and we can pass in dash capital L and it'll pull back a list of available cartridges that we can embed. As we can see we have both PostgreSQL 8.4 support so let's go ahead and enable that by running RHC control app pass in our app name and then dash E to embed a cartridge and we'll do add dash the cartridge name PostgreSQL 8.4 we'll authenticate and at this point it'll go ahead and configure our Postgres database, create a default database for us based on our application name, and then we'll respond with the credentials we need in order to access the database. Now that the database has been created, let's go ahead and connect to the database. Let's SSH into our OpenShift host and then run the PSQL command in order to connect. So let's do a RHC domain info again. In order to SSH into your box, you'll just need to grab the user ID and the host name. So let me go ahead and copy this. We'll go over to a new terminal and SSH in based on those credentials. By default, you should be authenticated based on your Libra underscore ID key that is in your .ssh directory. Now that we're authenticated to the box, let's run the psql command. Pass in dash h for host. Go back over to our other screen and get the host. And then the port which is 5432 and then the user which was displayed is admin and then our database name that we want to connect to and by default our database name is just named after our application so I'll pass in post. As you can see we don't have any tables currently defined so let's go ahead and create one. Create a table called user info maybe and it's going to have a user ID which is of type int. And let's also create a sequence call it user ID sequence and then let's insert a value into our user info table and then let's verify that that actually worked and there we go typically at this point you would just go ahead and configure your application to connect to your Postgres database based on the credentials provided to us when we embedded Postgres and that's all there is to it to embed Postgres database support inside of your application thanks for watching this video if you have any questions send us an email at openshift at redhat.com or join our forums at openshift.com